the next big change at CMC was, of course, the decision to go co-ed. Uh, we went co-ed in 1976, made that decision. But I was very blessed to have a chairman of the board by the name of John Loveless, who was very procedurally oriented. So we must have spent about a half a year deciding how we would decide. Not exactly my style, but I became to realize how beneficial that was. If you agree that this is a fair way to make a decision, it's very hard to be against the ultimate decision. So we was said we would bring in presidents from three colleges, that uh, one who had gone co-ed, one who had decided to stay single sex, and one who was in the process. So we brought in, brought in uh, people from Williams, Wabash College, and Haverford. We would write proposition papers. We would take a vote of the students, the faculty, the alumni board, all as advisory to the board of trustees. We would only go co-ed if it was a two-thirds majority. And I'll take credit for part of this. We decided we would not initially change our name. Uh, because if you were going to tackle two very emotional issues at the same time, the odds of, of uh, being successful were very small. And uh, we took that vote, and the decision to go co-ed won by one vote. We got over the two-thirds by one vote. And we started recruiting women under the name of Claremont Men's College. And as I recall, the first year, the uh, we had about what, about 30% women? I mean, I couldn't believe how many women in, the, in that time would come to a college called Claremont Men's College. Then but in, they sure did. Then in 1980, we changed the name and we used very much the same procedure. And the one group that voted against going, changing, changing the name to Claremont McKenna College was the enrolled women. Uh, they liked the fact that they were going to a place called Claremont Men's College. Uh, we decided to name it after Donald because Donald was the first instigator, the first $20,000, a man who had been very active in the life of the college uh, before it began and why it was uh, still active. So and he loved coming to the college. He did. When I became head of the Athenaeum, the first thing I did was no smoking. No smoking except for Donald McKenna. <laughs> he was the one exception, yeah. but he loved being here and he enjoyed staying up late with the students and just popping in in their dorm rooms. He would and walk around the dorm rooms Talking at night. to them and he was just, um, he was unbelievable. We sure had fun with him when we took the trip to change the name of the college. Yeah. To McKen we took him with us and, and George and um, his wife, at that time, Catherine Benson. We just had a wonderful time. Yeah. Jack and I would go to bed and Donald would stay up until two o'clock <laughs> with the party. Yeah, he, was, he was quite a guy. Anyhow, uh, those, those were the big events. We had State 800, the same size it was when I be, first became president in 70, until 1990. And in 1990, we decided to grow from 800 to 1,000. And uh, we did that pretty much. We were, we were 1,000 by the time I retired in 99. Uh, we built a, a, a third tower dorm and the uh, apartments, student apartments. Yeah. Other than that, we had we had to add to the gym. When when we became co-ed, we went with Scripps and added women's athletics, which was very successful. We expanded uh, the joint science program, which CMC mm -hmm. had also started uh, with with Scripps and and uh, Pitzer. That was expanded, and CMC had prospered during those years. By 1999, we were roughly a thousand, and we were the uh, fifth school in the nation in terms of endowment per student, just a little ahead of Williams. Uh, an amazing growth and, uh, uh, and financial strength. Considering that we'd started in... It started with practically nothing. Uh, and, in 1946. Uh, that's right. Everyone ahead of us had started long, long yeah. 
before yeah. us in the 1800s. And when, when I retired, I said, you know, it, um, there was no question it's been one of the most successful prospering schools in the nation. The only question is whether it was that way because of my leadership or in spite of it. And uh, a little bit of both was true, I think. The one big thing that I think makes CMC different than a lot of colleges was that it's never really had to change its focus. Its well, focus that, has that's really... That's true. We decided we would recruit students who wanted what we had to offer. We didn't change the nature of the college. It's always been a liberal arts college, a focused liberal arts college. Actually, we, we required quite a bit of distribution requirement. Uh, we now require more than, than, than most liberal arts colleges in terms of distribution requirement, which is the essence mm -hmm. of liberal arts, although there has always been that strong focus from the very conception in um, economics and government. Mm -hmm. Those have been the two major themes, and, and, it ha and has retained that. Right. And the Athenaeum is so unique because it's completely student focused. If a speaker comes, no matter who, they sit with students at dinner. And, and the student introduces and them. And the student introduces yeah, them, true. and the students ask the questions after. And so we've really stayed away from having events here that are for big donors, or I mean, they can all come. Oh, we but have events, to, but not the Athenaeum. But not, not here. Yeah. If we're going to have an event, it's in Los Angeles or some um, other venue for these um, outstanding then, political... Then of course, and Pamela Gamm became president, and she was a prodigious fundraiser, added some uh, handsome buildings, particularly the Kravis building and uh, the Crown Dorm, and uh, is building the Roberts Gym. Actually, we needed a new gym. We added a little when we took on women's athletics, but, but uh, not very much. So they really needed that. Built a magnificent tennis stadium, a Byzantine mm -hmm. tennis stadium. And of course, a couple of years ago, uh, President Sodash came in. And uh, I'm confident he will lead this college on to uh, even greater uh, recognition. That's the story of CMC up to the present.